Hi, I'm David Fleming from the Disciples Igniting YouTube channel where we're focused on Jesus, advancing his kingdom, and preparing his disciples. Now we're studying about revival outpourings that have taken place throughout church history, and today we're going to uh, share with you about the Catholic Charismatic Renewal Movement. Now, the fact that the Catholic Church of the 20th century was open to the charismatic movement was largely due to the groundwork laid by Pope John uh, XXIII at the Vatican II Council, which took place from 1962 to 1965. Now, during this council, the Pope expressed his earnest desire for the Church to experience a modern-day Pentecost. He even directed the churches, of course, speaking of the Catholic churches, to pray that the Holy Spirit would renew his wonders in the church. Oh, praise God, and the Lord was going to answer. Well, the Lord did begin to answer that prayer in 1967 when a group of 20 Roman Catholic faculty members and students from Duquesne University, which was run by the Holy Ghost priest in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, joined together for a spiritual retreat. Now, prior to the retreat, each attendee had been requested to read the Book of Acts and David Wilkerson's book, The Cross and the Switchblade. Now, if you've ever read that book, which you haven't, I recommend it. Um, he spends a whole chapter talking about the baptism in the Holy Spirit. Now, David Wilkerson himself was Pentecostal. He came from the Assemblies of God, but his book was so well received across Christianity that many people through in many different denominations ended up reading it, as did these Catholics from Duquesne University. Well, on Saturday night, the Lord poured his spirit out upon them and began and they began to experience what they had been praying for, a modern-day Pentecost. Let me read to you what has been written of that night. As these Catholic seekers prayed through to Pentecost, many things familiar to classical Pentecostals began to take place. Some laughed uncontrollably in the spirit, while one man rolled across the floor in ecstasy, shouting praises to the Lord, weeping and speaking in tongues. This group of people uh, were really showing forth the same type of experiences that were experienced throughout Pentecostal churches throughout the world. But this was taking place in a Catholic gathering. Well, David Mangan, a participant that night, testified, all of a sudden, Jesus Christ was so real and so present that I could feel Feel him all around. I was overcome with such a feeling of love that I can't describe it. Well, news of what happened at the Duquesne, what they call the Duquesne Weekend, spread rapidly to Notre Dame University, uh, which was at that time the intellectual capital of American Catholicism. And it's located, of course, in South Bend, Indiana. But it also spread to Michigan State University in East Lansing, Michigan. Now, these two places quickly became the organizing centers of the Catholic Charismatic Movement. As students and recent graduates who had been newly baptized in the Holy Spirit began to join together. Now, by 1973, get this, by 1973, the National Catholic Charismatic Conference was so large that they had a gathering together at Notre Dame that drew more than 30 thousand participants. Oh, praise God, how the Spirit of the Lord was moving throughout all different denominations, and now we see that he was moving big time in the Catholic Church. But you got to join me tomorrow because I'm going to start sharing with you what to me is one of my favorites, the Jesus People Movement. So I'll see you tomorrow.